Hello and welcome back to Haltech TV. Today we have the video review of the Noctua NF A14, both the flex version and the ultra low noise version. Uh, so we'll get into it, I'll show you around the fan and I will give you all the specifications, tell you my opinions and then give you my overall conclusion. And then tell you to head over to the video review for the high quality photos of these particular fans. So to start off with I have to go through the specifications and it being the review of both the ultra low noise and the flex I have five different sections to go through. So starting off with the flex, the FLX version, uh, the ro max rotational speed without adapters is 1200 RPM, with the low noise adapter it's 1050 and with the ultra low noise it's 900. The airflow without an adapter is 115.5 um, meters cubed per hour. Uh, with the low noise, it's 101.9, and with the ultra low noise, it's 88.7. The acoustical noise in decibels is 19.2 without adapters, 16.4 with the low noise adapter. With the ultra low noise adapter, it's 13.8. And with static pressures in um, millimeters H2O, we have, without adapters, 1.51, with the low noise adapter, 1.18, and with the ultra low noise adapter, 0 0.89. Now, moving on to the ultra low noise version, which there is a slight difference between this and like the flex edition with the ultra low noise adapter on. This basically starts even lower than the flex with the ultra low noise adapter on. So the without adapters, max rotational speed is 800 RPM. Uh, and with the ultra low noise adapter on the ultra low noise version, it runs at 650 RPM. With airflow, it is 79.8 without adapters and with adapters. With the ultra low noise adapter, it's 66.4. Without adapters, the acoustical noise in decibels is 11.9 and with the adapter is 9.1 so that is a sub 10 decibel um, rating right there and in terms of static pressure uh, you can't really expect much at, th at this point uh, without adapters it's 0 0.69 and with the ultra low noise adapter it is 0 0.42 so let's get in and I'll show you around the fan and tell you my particular opinions on certain features to do with uh, this fan so starting off with accessories, it comes with four fan screws, four of these anti-vibration mounts, a Molex adapter, because this is a three pin fan remember, um, with the ultra low noise version that we have out now, it comes with one low noise adapter, the flex version which uh, I might get out at the end and, and it's just to show that they're exactly the same comes with the low noise and the ultra low noise uh, in this case it's just the ultra low noise and it comes with a sleeved 30 centimeter extension cable now in terms of uh, accessories and what you really uh, expect from the accessories uh, Noxio fans are known to come with quite a bit more than um, some competitor fans and it's not only do they come with more, over the, over the course of a few years, the actual accessories have developed in terms of quality as well as the fans themselves. So all the cables that you get now uh, with accessories are all uh, fully sleeved and on most, most of them, um, in 99% of the uh, cases, the heat shrink uh, and sleeving goes all the way to the end. Now, it doesn't go individually sleeved into the cables. The cables are still slightly coloured, and it, uh, if you kind of bend them, you can see them a little bit. But they are sleeved really, really high quality um, all the way to the end. It's, and it's one thing I do like about the sleeving on, uh, not just the accessories, but the cables themselves, is they've got kind of a waxy rubber feel to them. And basically, uh, I, I I can't tell you what sort of sleeving it is. I'm not an expert on sleeving, but I can tell you that even if you push them together, the individual sort of fibres of the um, sleeving do not separate. And I, I believe that's uh, linked in with the uh, sort of waxy rubbery feeling to it, if, as if it's got a sort of a rubber 
uh, melted coating over the top of it to secure it all together. So basically what you get is sleeving that is not going to show anything uh, in terms of in the internal cables. So you won't see anything um, through this sleeving. The only problem which isn't actually a problem is the fact that the um, cable ends aren't like black as well as the uh, sleeving. That's not a problem because it kind of suits the Noctua design um, which is a little bit more rugged than uh, any other designs of other fans. But yeah, let's, uh, let's start going into the fan itself rather than the accessories. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off with the cable even though it's kind of linked in with the accessories. So you've still got that sleeving here, still super high quality. The only problem with this that I had was that the sleeving ends at the origin of the, well at the point it meets the chassis and from then on you have the bare wires. Now on some cables, on some, sorry, on some fans by Noctua, this sleeving does actually go all the way through. Uh, to around about here and then it separates. Now, this isn't a problem for basically anyone. It's just a kind of an issue that I have to point out because, you know, it's something that they could have done better. Uh, they just clearly chose not to. Now, it might be to do with uh, interference with the fan blades or whatever and it's having the sleeving there uh, might, in like, it might damage the airflow or, or whatever by being a little bit bulkier but in terms of looks um, it, it does look a little bit more ugly than uh, having it sleeved throughout so flipping the fan back over now you saw these anti-vibration um, mounts before if you don't want to use them you do still have anti-vibration properties with Noctua fans and that's because of these little rubber um, sort of grommet thing is here, I can't remember what they call them, um, but yeah, so if you do want to use standard case screws that do come with the fan, uh, you do still get these for the anti-vibration properties, and they're on all, they're on both sides of the fan, so you, you get eight of these uh, little protectors in total, and it's basically, if you were to use these with the anti-vibration mounts put together, uh, I, I, it's going to be a level of sort of quietness that really is only uh, possible with uh, Noctua fans while still maintaining that high uh, performance level. Uh, moving on. What uh, Noctua have done is they've created what they refer to as the AAO frame, the Advanced Acoustic Optimization Frame. And basically what that is, is it's not only these rubber pads here, but it's what you see around the edges, around the corners here, these sort of stepped designs. And on the inside, which you will see in the written review a lot better than you will see in the video review uh, due to the high quality photos. Uh, around the inside of the chassis, around here, you have little bumps, what are called inner surface microstructures. And these three things uh, combined create the advanced um, acoustic operation, sorry, frame. And it's basically what they do is they help, uh, I'll go through each individual one, the rubber pads, obviously they reduce vibrations, we've been through them before. The stepped inlet design, what that does is what uh, it kind of directs the air into the fan in a better way uh, to make it more efficient to cause sort of less turbulence, to cause less spinning of the air and to allow it to pass through the fan and be pushed through the fan in a more efficient manner. The inner surface microstructures, what they're said to do is create <coughs> sorry, create a kind of buffer zone between the edges of the fan blades and the internal structure of the chassis. Now all of these things um, they say that they help, you know I can't prove that they help and, uh, uh, so I'm not going to essentially say that they do work, but when it comes to the actual performance, uh, you'll see whether they work or not. Uh, basically, the answer is yes. And it, yeah, that uh, then three things put together is what they refer to as the advanced acoustic operation uh, frame. 
and then they were integrated they were sort of uh, released around the time well i say around the time they were released with the noctua nf f12 and they've been using them ever since and basically they do work um i, I see a lot of things in here that i've seen on the nf f12 um you know it that the nf f12 was kind of like the the new noctua fan uh, which has been so popular and it worked so well that they've basically taken what they've learned from that fan and it's applied it to uh, newer fans designed for different purposes and it's made them work essentially you know there's there's a few uh, i've got all the a series to review and it um basically they look good as well as performing well like all these features i like the look of i think they work in terms of looks some people don't like the colors i personally do like the colors i think i think it gives it a more rugged more uh, high performance long lasting uh look to them and it's obviously it's distinctive which is a big um factor which i'll come to at the end uh, but moving on to some of the new features that you see on this fan that you might not have seen on the f12 and on on previous fans by Noctua, uh, which you will see a lot more of uh, with the A series as a whole. So I've put you in a little closer, and it, that's to show you one of the main features, which is basically going to be on every of the A series and might be on all the new series, series, new fans to come, basically. And these are the flow acceleration channels, and it's, what these are is these three little. Um, kind of stripes on the edges of the fans and they're basically meant to again help direct the air around the tips of the blades to cause uh, less sort of hitting of the air against each other less turbulence um, and basically smoothen out the air around the edges uh, kind of the same way as the inner surface microstructures are, uh, are doing and it um, I can't tell you whether it works, obviously I can tell you the overall performance of the fan at the end, but I can't uh, break it down and, and tell you which individual feature makes a massive difference, uh, because I don't, I, I don't have any sort of controls or, or, or whatever. But I can tell you, straight off, without even having to turn the fan on, you know, I have turned the fan on and I have tested it properly and everything, uh, but without even turning on, just by looking at it, I can tell you that this feature gives it another level of looks, <laughs> which, added with the AAO frame, essentially is making these uh, Noctua fans, which at one point were only seen as performance fans and it's kind of ugly fans, they're making them look ten times better than any of the uh, competitor fans. Not only in, in looks, but they look ten times the performance and quality of any competitive fans. And it's, you know, it really does uh, show the kind of the, the level of quality you uh, expect from Noctua nowadays. Um, just by, you know, they have features on them which are designed to be performance features, but at the same time they look good, uh, which... <laughs> Uh, I find kind of kind of weird, but kind of cool at the same time. Uh, so yeah, I will move on and let's talk about the 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 main piece uh, right here um, of this fan. So as you can see, this is the ultra low noise version. They're basically the same in terms of these features. So right here, you have the SSO2 uh, bearing system. Now. It is a self-stabilizing oil pressure bearing, which, if you didn't know, is kind of a more expensive uh, kind of bearing that uh, these fans use. The SSO2 uh, kind of design is a Noctua uh, design. And it, if if you didn't know, basically the, the self-stabilizing oil pressure bearings are they're designed for not only high performance, but quietness and long-term performance. So what you get out of Noctua fans is essentially a high-performing fan, but not only a high-performing fan for the first few years or whatever, these are designed to last. These bearings last a long time. 
So as I was saying, it comes with the SSO2 bearing system, which is a lot higher quality than some of the fans that a lot of people are saying are just as good as the Noctua fans. Uh, they might be just as good to start with, but over long periods of time, you'll notice that the Noctua fan stays at the high level of performance compared to the other competitive fans, which uh, will drop significantly. This uh, fan also comes with a, uh, I think it's a copper bearing shell, which is just a metal shell that um, encloses the bearings to make it last even longer. Um, which they probably didn't need to do anyway because the fan bearings are going to last longer than any of the competitors. But knowing Noctua, you know, they integrate them in, into their fans anyway because no matter what the competitors are doing, they always want to be a step ahead of them in terms of their quality. Uh, so I will put you back on the tripod and I will give you my performance um, feelings on this particular fan and then my conclusion as a whole and then uh, I will say goodbye. So in terms of the performance we'll start with the flex version. Uh, the flex version being the one that has the higher RPM and overall higher uh, specifications but that includes noise. Basically this is a quiet fan anyway and it pushes a decent amount of air. Well I say I I say decent, it produces a, a really large amount of air compared to a lot of the other fans out there. It is a 140mm fan, so you know, it's kind of expected to, to produce a, a certain level in terms of the um, airflow. However, this producing 115.5 um, without the sort of low noise adapters or anything on, it, it does produce quite a bit of air and it, uh, you can definitely feel it. But in terms of in terms of how loud it is, you can't really hear it that much. Uh, being a 140mm fan, uh, even when the decibels sort of crank up, um, it's a very sort of a, a lower noise compared to the smaller fans out there. Especially with the SSO2 uh, bearings, it, it really lowers the noise to the point where it's not really that noticeable. Maybe if you have 10 of them in a system, you know, you might notice it a little bit. You might want it to be a little bit quieter. Um, but if you only have a few, it's not really going to cause that much of a problem, especially if you're using them on your heat sinks and uh, and such as well. Although it might be better to use, you know, the the NF F12 with the low noise adapter on your uh, heat sinks and such, or in this case the NF A15 on your heat sinks. Um, with the ultra low noise version, basically, you know, I can see why they've done it. They've noticed that the Flex Edition if you get it low enough you just can't hear it and it still produces a good amount of air well with the ultra low noise version it's kind of like a, a step further when it comes to making it quieter the ultra low noise version you basically you can't hear it you put it in a case you won't hear it at all um, it's, a, it's a very very good fan obviously you're not getting the airflow that you are with the flex edition uh, I'd probably go with the Flex Edition purely because you can get it down to low RPM, but you can also get all those um, high RPM, high airflow uh, capabilities as well. But if you are going for all out, a pure, no noise whatsoever, but still good performance, the ultra low noise version is still uh, quite a good fan. So overall, two really high quality fans that basically, from the ground up, they are high quality leading to high performance everything about these fans you know I, I ca there's a few things that I can find bad about Noctua fans but with these particular ones not so much they are really good fans they look good which is a big factor for me I know a lot of people don't like the colouring but if you put them all in the case and someone comes around and they want to have a look at your computer want to have a look at your system you open it up if they know what they're talking about, they'll know that those are Noctua fans. And I don't see how that's a bad thing. Because Noctua fans, yes, they are expensive, but that shows through. And it, if you open your case up and it's full of Noctua fans, everybody's going to know that you've kind of put a little bit of money into this system and it, that you're proud of it. So, they might not fit in with the colour scheme completely, but, you know... Uh, at the same time, you know that you're getting the high performance and you know that 
when everybody kn that knows anything about cooling will know that you have the best fans in your system. Um, so yeah, that is, oh, I don't want to, I don't even want to stop there. Uh, with the release of all these sort of cases and designs that are trying to go all rugged and army looking, you know, when the G1 Sniper and everything came out, these fans are finding a place on the market. You know, you've got the G1 Sniper, um, there's a, a kind of a, a, an example, I can't even remember what the what relevance it has in terms of sockets and, and what, whatever, but you have the Sabertooth boards, uh, you have the Corsair C70, all these products are coming out that fit in with Noxio colour scheme um, in terms of the, the brown and, and rugged looking uh, designs. So essentially you have a product here which is high performance, high quality and you know it looks good at the same time even if you don't like the colours. So yeah it's time for me to say goodbye. So that was the, re uh, the video review of the Noctua NF A14 ultra low noise version and flex uh, version. If you want to check out the written review, a lot of this stuff might be the same in terms of content. You know, we try to hit both uh, markets in terms of the, the reach. Some people like to read written reviews, some people like to read video, uh, watch video reviews, sorry. But if you want to see the high quality, high resolution photos of the particular features of these fans, go check out the video review and you'll be able to sort of click on the photos and uh, put them full screen or whatever uh, so you can get a better look at them um, but yeah if other than that head over to the website anyway and bookmark it while you're there because there's a lot of content on the, that website that you won't find anywhere else on the Haltech TV network also join the forum because you know we do like to see some some level of feedback and we do like to answer your questions uh, a little bit quicker and a little bit faster than by email but if you want to ask us any questions by email, whether you want to request a product for a review or ask a, any sort of a question, or if you want to con contact us for business, uh, use the appropriate emails in the description box below. While you're there, head over to the Facebook page and the Hal Thompson Facebook page and give both of them a like. You have the up-to-date information on the Hal Tech TV web, uh, Facebook page and the kind of behind-the-scenes stuff on the Hal Thompson Facebook page. Uh, but other than that, I'm Hal Thompson, this has been another Haltech TV video, don't forget to subscribe, and goodbye.